and the dish ran away with the spoon. Hello my friends, it's Rain here from Rain Francis Art. Today I decided to pull out my ink pens and do a quick little doodle of the dish running away with the spoon. Would you like to join me? This is what I'll be using today for my little doodle. I've got my Strathmore Visual Journal here. The paper is Bristol Smooth. It works it's a great paper for ink and graphite and it's it's a small one today five and a half inches by eight inches and I'm going to use that landscape I've also got some fine tipped markers and I will leave a list in the description to let you know what I end up using I've just got a regular pencil and my old dollar store paintbrush to just wipe off my page so why don't I open this up. Isn't this cute? It's the back of a playing card. I use it as a bookmark. <laughs> I love dogs. All right, so this is going to be landscape today. I'm just going to make sure that you guys can see the whole thing. There we go. Okay, so the dish ran away with the spoon. <laughs> and our dish today is going to be a female dish. And our spoon is going to be the gentleman. So why don't I draw? I'm going to start by drawing, I think, the gentleman spoon. And I'm using my pencil because I'm not quite okay with starting purely with ink. This is his hat. And then let's make him like this and I'm gonna make his body a little like that and he's got little legs because he's they're running away <laughs> let me move that up so you can see everything now my dish today is going to be, let's see, she's going to be a cup. Mm. There, and I'm going to give her a little handle. She's got some legs. Let's see if I can do this. No, I don't like that. This is why I have an eraser. <laughs> Not crazy about what I just did. And I might fix the cup a little bit too. I want that to be more rounded at the bottom. a little. Fix that up here. Okay, I have to remember I'm just doing a doodle, right? This is not perfection. <laughs> All right. Let me see if I can get that leg the way I want it. Okay, Miley, my dog is growling because there are people outside building and my dog does not like that. <laughs> She's like me. She likes quiet. Sorry, my friends, I'm just trying to get the, the feet right here. There we go. I'm going to pull out my little mechanical eraser here. Hello, Lucy. My other little dog just came to say hi. Okay, that'll be good enough. And I'm going to, let's see, I'm not going to use my pencil anymore. I'm going to start using 
my marker and this one is 0 0.8 okay so why don't I just start shading in here I may have to this marker seems to be running low on ink so how does this little nursery rhyme go don't even remember I'm gonna pause because I have to switch markers this one is running low on ink okay I have I have another marker here and it's a little better so I'm just I'm not I didn't plan this I am just shading I just want to have a little fun today I haven't done an art video in a couple of weeks I've been so busy with my dogs I adopted three dogs six weeks ago now I can't believe it's only been six weeks <laughs> feels like a lot longer now what I do want to do is outline the hat I hope you can see what I'm doing here these ink pens you can't really use the side to draw it doesn't work so you have to kind of use the, t the tip more which makes it hard for for seeing what you're doing just giving a little detail there to his hat and for I'm going to outline the entire spoon here and I'm not going to be as picky as I was with the hat trying to remember that nursery rhyme ah uh, yeah okay I remember it hey diddle diddle the cat and the fiddle the cow jumped over the moon the little dog laughed to see such a is it such a sport the little dog laughed to see such a sport and the dish ran away with the spoon <laughs> that's it what's going on here guys <laughs> two of the dogs that I adopted are mother and puppy and they are constantly constantly playing constantly which I'm happy about I'm happy that they're playing but sometimes it can get a little rough all right let's give him a little nose <laughs> clearly I'm not doing realism here him looking at her though because he's so happy about the fact that she's running away with him <laughs> all right I'm just gonna do a little circular stuff here hey guys take it easy a little rough housing there now I'm taking my can you see that 0 0.2 there we go 0 0.2 it's a finer tip because I just wanted to do some dots on this hat I'm doing really just dotting and I'm gonna just do a couple of lines across That's it for the hat and let's see let's give him a little bit of a hair up here and I wanted to just do a little shading on his face just like that I'm gonna give him some cheeks to make him look interesting <laughs> but I want to do a little more contour shading here And maybe some, I don't know, some cross hatching. 
cross hatching is just like that. And I'm going to shade in just the arch of his back there a little bit. This is just a fun little doodle for today. I have a kids art channel and I probably could have done this for the kids art channel too. Why don't we give him some some dots on his cheeks? There, I'm happy with my little spoon. <laughs> now I'm going to take that 0 0.8 again. And I'm just going to outline my uh my cup and give her a little top here. decided to do this because I'm going to plug my, my website here. Every Thursday on my website, rainfrancescreations.com, I have a little blog post and I host what I call Thursday Art and Dinner Date. And basically, it's a blog hop type of party, if you know what that means. That just means that a lot of people join in and they join in by adding a link to their blog post or Instagram photo. And every week I have an optional art prompt. And this week it's spoons. So I thought, ah, the dish ran away with the spoon. I've drawn this before. I know I have at some point. I don't know when. It may have been many, many years ago, though. But I drew something similar to this many years ago when I first started playing around with ink. I tried to look for it, but... My gosh, when, <laughs> when you're an artist, I think my fellow artist friends can vouch for me here. You tend to have a lot of stuff. I don't have all of my drawings up visible, you know? Careful, Lucy, don't touch that, honey. My dog is curious about my microphone wire. Okay. See, she... I get distracted by the dogs very easily. Just putting dots up here. So, I'm going to give her some big eyes, too. Now, who's that? Oh, that's little Benny. Little Benny the puppy. <laughs> They're all coming over one at a time to see me. And she's got her eyes are looking at him. Because I think she's got a big crush on him. Otherwise she wouldn't have ran away with him, right? <laughs> there we go. You okay, Benny Bear? She's really looking at him. We're going to give her some eyelashes. Ooh, I didn't do a very good job there on her eyelashes. <laughs> Let's give her some eyebrows. I'm still using my 0 0.8, by the way. And maybe a little nose here. And let's give her some big lips. And I'll color in her lips black. 
leave a little opening there. Oh, life is tough, eh? <laughs> All right. So, let me see here. I'm going to outline her legs a little bit. grab that 0.2 marker, the thinner one, and I'll just do some lines across here. I don't want to get any in her eyes though. Which I just did. And I am going to try not to get any in her, her mouth. Okay, now for her legs, I'm just going to do this type of thing here. Now, what else could I do here? Let's see. I'm going to take my 0 0.8 again and just do some little, little bit of shading at the bottom here. Why don't I just give her some slippers? pretty good with this. I don't want to overdo it though. Why don't I do some dots just for fun? She's got freckles. <laughs> this is extremely relaxing to do dots like this. I'm going to do some dots in her legs, too. There we go. So, hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon, the little dog laughed to see such a sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. <laughs> there we go. I hope you enjoyed this little doodle today, my friends. If you did, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to leave me a comment. I love reading your comments, and I reply to all of them. So I'll see you next time on Rain Francis Art. Take care, my friends. Bye.